the first ever CRISPR gene editing medicine just got approved in the US. This is a huge deal. So here's what's happening. The new treatment called Casgevy treats sickle cell disease, where basically a mutated version of a protein called hemoglobin turns healthy red blood cells like this into harder crescent cells like that, which can then clump together and cause extreme pain and deprive people's bodies of oxygen. Until now, the most effective treatment have been bone marrow transplants to give people other people's cells that can then produce healthy hemoglobin. But now it doesn't have to be somebody else's cells. With CRISPR, we can edit the DNA of living things, including us. So now doctors can take a sickle cell patient's own cells out of their body and then edit the DNA of those cells. And then they put those cells back in and the patients get a new form of healthy hemoglobin from their own updated cells. It's hard to overstate how many people's lives this could make better. And hopefully it's just the beginning of using CRISPR to design new tools to help more people. If you like- All right, so let me uh, first, by saying CRISPR is just an acronym, mm -hmm. um, it stands for, and this is not going to mean a lot, but okay. I'm going to say it anyways. Yeah. <laughs> it stands for clustered, regular, regularly interspaced, short, paldromic repeats. I don't know. Yeah, I probably okay. screwed that up. Okay. But, <laughs> but the point is, is what it is, it's a process that we can use to take, it's gene editing. So we can actually take like a, almost like a cut and a paste, like, you take a little bit of genes out of something else, and mm. then you can jam them in to another DNA structure. Yeah. So the cool part about this is, is that people who suffer from something where, like like she was saying, um, you know, sickle cell, mm -hmm. where, um, you know, you, you normally have to get like a, a bone marrow transplant. The issue with that is, is there could be rejection and a bunch of other stuff, but there's mm. not rejection if it's your own stuff. Yeah. So they can just take a little bit out, fix the problem, put it back in, mm -hmm. and you're not going to reject it. Wow. I, I, I think this yeah. is incredible. And I think this could be a precursor to a lot of like um, hereditary problems that we have. Now, mm -hmm. it slides yeah. down a slippery slope <laughs> sure of does. gene manipulation. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, I think we've all seen, uh, oh, shoot, what was that movie with um, Uma Thurman and Ethan Hawke? Oh, Gattaca. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And we don't want to move to a future like that. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of times when we have transplants, there's a lot of risks that come with that. Mm -hmm. And if it was just from your own body, I think the risks would be cut down. Yeah. And I know it's a huge step to go from that to the Gattaca thing. But, mm, right, right. But, <laughs> yeah, it, it mean, could be, I saw yeah. this and I, and my nerd brain went, yeah. Holy crap! Yeah. We're living in the future. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because that's uh, that's pretty impressive that you know we're making strides this far to be able to do something like that. But <clears throat> yeah, I th I think that is just a testament to uh, you know, the other side of things when we can automatically have a reaction and think, oh, you know, what about this horrible thing that's going to happen, or <clears throat> you know, some some other alternative other than what it's meant for. Yeah, I like getting excited about uh, science, and I like, you know, when we do new amazing things. I mean, we've talked on the show about uh, uh, space things and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and, and I just think, man, the future sounds cool. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll be able to solve some of our problems with yeah. uh, stuff like this. So does this go into, because I know that before we talked about um, how there's like no money in cures type of thing. So, so <laughs> well, no, the conspiracy well, is that well, there's no yeah, money yeah, in yeah, cures. Right, I right. think that there's trillions yeah. in cures. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. So, I, I guess this maybe will fall in line with that only because, you know, I mean, this is a, a fix to a problem. This is not like a band aid, this is like a potential solution to, you know, so hopefully it's real. <laughs> yeah. And, and I'm not a geneticist or a doctor or anything like that, but from my point of view, I think the slippery slope we were talking about with Gattaca and things like that mm -hmm. is that you're manipulating. Well, you're you're basically bioengineering your own human being, which is a problem. Mm -hmm. And I have a problem with that. But manipulating our current genes, I have less of a problem with. Because mm -hmm. if, if you're born with like hereditary problems, like I have some hereditary mm -hmm. problems. And if they could just make some type of I don't know, shot or something that, that I take. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden my problems go away. Mm -hmm. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe this can start happening like at birth so they can just uh, have newborns 
you know, uh, do something, fix all those well, no. improper genes, and boom. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, that gets close to the slippery slope, though. But but I get what you're saying. Like, yeah. okay, like uh, you're wearing glasses. I'm wearing contacts. Mm -hmm. Well, when we were kids, at some point, somebody noticed that we didn't see right. We yeah. got an eye test, and mm -hmm. then wham. Yeah. You know, but wouldn't it be awesome if they were just like, okay, well, we're gonna take a little bit of your blood, and then we're gonna change your genes, mm -hmm. and then. Yeah. You can see well. I mean, yeah. that's that's a huge step for <laughs> yeah. what they're doing right, right, here. Right. They're extracting something and then, yeah, okay. Um, but my point <laughs> yeah. is, is and I got excited about it. Yeah, is it just me or are non nerds like no, yourself? No, no, no. It's 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 exciting. I, I don't know how to take that, but uh, no. But yeah, would no. you prefer me calling you sports fan? <laughs> a sports fan? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, no, it is exciting because um, you know I think that there's just a lot of regular people out there who think that. You know, not much is going on in the medical community. Uh, so it's very, very positive seeing things like this.